afternoon. Yeah, tough afternoon. I thought first half, for the most part, we defended okay in terms of in possession. We weren't tidy enough. We didn't show enough quality to throw any punches at Newcastle, really. Uh, we go in at half time, we talk about being bolder. We made a couple of changes to get people higher up the pitch and bring the back four higher. And obviously, we have the worst possible start to the second half. That's clear for everyone to see. After that, I thought uh, we actually started getting into some interesting areas. You know, uh, Pritch hits the, the bar, and the goalkeeper makes a fantastic save down to his right. And if we'd have scored in that moment, I think the fans would have done the rest for us because I thought the fans were fantastic in their back end of the team today. But the two goals we concede second half because the third goal is a really poor on our part as well. But look, let's be honest, there was a gap between the two teams when we arrived at the stadium today. And at the end of the day, we've tried to close that gap over 90 minutes and we wasn't able to do that. My young team must really be honest with themselves, the staff, the players, everyone at the football club about today. Because then I think we'll improve, and I think it will. We can use it in our championship form for the games we got coming up. But the big thing for us is being honest and not hiding away from the fact there is a gap. It sort of felt like you didn't really give it a go until the second half, but were you just not allowed to do that? Well, two things: the resistance that we had today was the biggest resistance this young group's had this season, for sure. Um, so you have to put that part as well. You know, a lot's been spoken about them, but they are a team that's beat PSG for four and Chelsea in the, not the recent past, and they've had exposure as a group in terms of experience and level of football much greater than ours. So we went out with the right intention. I think there was a little bit of a belief thing in our team, which we spoke about at half time. Um, we shot ourselves in the foot straight away. As I say, after that, I was more happier with the second half performance all round. But um, their quality and their expertise and their, and their experience, I think, on the day, there was, they were a clear winner of the game. Unfortunately for us, because it's not in this derby, in this game, that's not how we want to feel. But it's the reality right now. If we're not honest, then we won't move forward. If we're honest, then I think this young group can make big jumps in the coming months. Everybody accepts the, the gap in balance between the two teams, but it, it, was, it, it just is a huge emotional occasion. Derby match. So, how important and how quickly can you get past that? You know, what's today? Well, as I said, we've got to be honest. Then we've got to move forward. We've got 20 games in the championship. We've got no time to dwell. You know, this don't penalise us in the league, does it? We're currently sat in sixth position, which I think for a group as young as ours is is a really optimistic place to be. And and I think with the fans today, it, it, it's a horrible feeling. Uh, certainly, it's a derby, and it, it you know in the local area, it's not nice, but. I hope this team uh, can grow from days like today and give those fans many a happy day moving forward. As I say, there's 20 games to go in the championship. We can be as optimistic as anybody of getting in those playoff positions. That's my sole focus now. Michael, you've mentioned a few times that you're, you're a young team. I think you do have the youngest team in the championship. Do you think that that cost you today? Do you feel you need more experience to win a match like that, a derby match like that? Well, well if... If it was easy to do what we're doing, then everyone would be doing it. We give young players a real opportunity to grow. That's a big growing experience for them today. We had higher hopes for today's game than the outcome, for sure. And I think one or two in our team are actually better than what they showed today. So that, that's, that's fine. It's feedback. We move forward. I think this window will try to improve. But uh, in, in the vision of our football club, which is to give young players an opportunity to come and perform and, and grow. So as a young group, we need, to, we need to pull that together. But listen, on a day like today, you're going to speak about it and it gets highlighted. But ultimately in the championship, that's not been an issue for us this season. So at the level that we, we're competing at, it's not been an issue. Actually, it's been something to give great optimism to people. The club spent four years in League One and come back out of it and got in the playoffs last year. We're in a good position this year. I don't want anyone to think there's anything other than positivity around our football club. I thought I got away from you, but I will answer the question now. <laughs> Listen, uh, it, it, the atmosphere in the stadium was, I thought, was really good because there's opposition fans. So it's something that you know, you have your own problems up there, and 
It's a derby that I've been close to, but in the 18 or 19 I was involved in, there was never more than six or 700. What you saw today, and there's been a lot spoken about it, is that the fans went off at each other and the noise and the atmosphere in the stadium at the start was fantastic. You can see the size of this derby. Every derby's different, um, but this one's really, really special. And I think uh, the, the fans going back and forth was, was, was made for a fantastic atmosphere in the stadium, I thought. Yeah, I think so. Look, a lot's been said about VAR, but what I think is it's a cleaner game. You don't see anything off the ball now, maybe that you've seen in years gone by. You know, everyone needs to be a little bit cleaner, so it's, it's done that. And listen, VAR's great when it goes for you and horrible when it goes against you. And, um, you know, luckily, um, you know, it's not there today. And as I say, we ain't had no incident which needed it. So I think if we'd have been a big incident today, then we'd have been asking for it. So you have to swing. It's in the game now, and I think we need to embrace it. I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, a hundred percent. And we have to we have to have a conversation about why that is. You know, I've, I've said I've given an idea that I think, you know, Newcastle at their best under Eddie are super organised, aggressive in their press and play on your mistakes and counter on you quickly and I thought that was a part of the game as well and that's made them last year a Champions League team and a team that's able to compete against good teams in, in, the, uh, in the Champions League. So listen, the resistance is the highest resistance that's come. I think life got really real for, for everyone in our young team today so we need to use that and go to work. I, I would expect the level of our training to go up after a game like today because it's a knowledge, you know, there's no ignorance now about the level. If we felt we were closer or individuals felt they were closer to playing at that level regularly, then today's a bit of an eye-opener in terms of the knowledge. Now we need to go to work. I'm super optimistic after today that we, if we're really honest that, and we use it in our championship form, then this team will make big strides quickly. A little bit of both, a little bit of both on the day. I felt, you know, 2-0 if we went and got one, then, you know, the fans would get behind it. Looking behind me, the bench only gets younger and and you don't want to destabilise the team. So isn't it, that's just the decision we decided to make as a management team today. Yeah, listen, we've got 20 huge games and the focus needs to be on what happens on the football pitch and ultimately I'm, I'm not in and around any stuff like that. Um, I would like for our fans today, for the players to have, have scored a goal and been it stayed in the game longer in the second half because I thought it could have got interesting even though there was a, a gap in quality. I think if you stay in the game at the start of the second half, something could happen and I, and I knew that the fans would then really push the team onwards and upwards and in the game. We didn't. We got 20 games to go in the championship and we were in, in a really good place. We got as much chance as anyone of getting in those playoff positions. And, uh, and we're going to need to be united as a football club for that to happen, for sure. You know, we got the biggest away following in the championship and we'll be counting on that next week away at Ipswich as well. No, I don't expect Pat back for a couple more weeks yet, unfortunately. So he has a problem with his calf and it's probably a three or four week or so. What has he done a week so far? So we, we can't rush him, as we say, because by the end of the season, we're going to need everyone fit and firing. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's unfortunate because I think Paddy's someone that could help us on a day like today, for sure. You said the second goal was a bad one, Mike, but it was a goal from a team who were trying to play out from the back and he mm -hmm. continued trying to do that, even though it was a difficult day for him doing that. And is that Well, yeah, first half, we, at times we, we didn't play out and then we kicked the ball to Roos and he's up against the, the two centre-halves and Dan Byrne and we're not winning any of those and the ball's coming back. So we need to be braver and bolder, but I'm not sure we were all aligned with that today. And that's maybe because the pressure of the game and the, the type of press and the aggression of the press, we don't face week in, week out. And those are the little things where we're going to need to mature really quickly. 
We don't have any what you would call grey hair on the pitch. So at times as a coach, you're shouting it from the side. But look, that what you'll get is this group will need to grow up quickly together. I think today was really good for them. The fans won't like me saying that because they ultimately just want to win the game. It's a derby against the biggest rival they want to win, but there's a financial gap and also an experience gap today, and we wasn't able to close it. The fact that we were optimistic we could surely means that we were heading in the right direction. Michael, there were big celebrations from Newcastle at the end on the pitch, taking team photos and their fans. What, what do you think about that? Is it disrespectful? Shows that the game meant a hell of a lot to them, showed that they come into it and needed a result. So, look, yeah. When you lose a game, I can't complain about the way the other team celebrate because um, that will be a headline grabber and that won't be the right thing today, I don't think. Cool. Any more guys? We'll be done. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, fellas.